Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So real quick before we start, I wanna let you all know that my nose is pretty stuffed up and I don't know if it's affecting my voice or anything like that, but I just wanted to let you all know I'm gonna try my best not to talk much throughout this video just because I don't know how my voice is sounding. I'm also having a super stuffed up nose, constantly needing to blow it. So just wanted to mention that, but I'm still feeling fine. So I don't know if maybe it's just allergies or something with pregnancy, but either way, I'm still going to go ahead and film today's video. The main part I'll be talking is like the unboxing because I do have a daily charm haul. And then for the nail set, I am going to be doing a fun cat eye nail set because in this daily charm haul, I have a brand new magnet from them that I am very excited to use. And in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing my last Halloween nail set, which is just insane to think about because October was went by so freaking fast and I'm now on to my last Halloween nail set. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Like I said, I have a daily charm haul. I will be linking these products down below in the description box along with my affiliate link. And then I will also be having um, my discount code, which is Nailed by Brandy. That is an unlimited discount code. You can use it on any and all of your daily charm purchases. They do have some new items. I will say I'm getting to this haul a little late because in here we do have some Halloween stickers and more than likely I'll be saving those for next year because I don't think today's nail set I'm going to require any nail stickers but that's okay my next daily charm haul it will be more like on the holiday theme which I am super excited about so stay tuned for that in November but we do have some new goodies like this new t-shirt here which I will be showing like how cool is it that daily charm launched a t-shirt amazing but let's jump in here we'll start with the items in the box and then we'll take a look at the t-shirt so the first item included in here is just like a little insert card it talks about their charm box um, i did unbox their halloween charm box I loved it. It's one of my favorites. And then also upcoming is their holiday charm box. They do have spots available. So if you want to sign up, sign up now. That way you will receive the Christmas holiday themed charm box. The next item that I have are these little jars. And I picked these up. It's a pack of six because they launched their new um, chrome powders the chrome powders that you can mix with the five-in-one strengthening gel to create a cat eye gel polish that's really cool but i never have anywhere to put the gel so these little containers they're just um containers that you can reuse and put your gel in and then you'll be able to save it this is the magnet that I am very excited to try and will be using in today's nail set just because I am just so excited. I want to play around with some cat eye, um, do some different like nail looks or like a Halloween nail set, of course, but try this out and just have fun with it and kind of just experiment and do a tutorial on how to use different cat eye magnets. So this one is their new, I think it's called like their pen magnet. So here is what it looks like out of the packaging. This part up here is the magnet part of this tool. I do want to mention this will be included in their holiday charm box, their November charm box. So if you are signed up for that or if you will be signing up for it, you might not want to purchase this if you because it is going to be included in your November charm box. I just wanted to make everyone aware, but I was so excited to try this out and I did get it and I've been so excited to use it. So we will be using this in today's video. Now for the nail stickers, you guys know nail stickers are my best friend. I love the one from Daily Charm. So we have some nail stickers here. I also mentioned these are more so Halloween. I'm getting to this package a little bit late, but it's okay because I will have these prepared and ready for next year. So here is the first 
sticker sheet. This has some pumpkins, bats, um, some skulls, spiders. This kind of has like a whole mix of everything, just giving a very fun Halloween theme. This next sheet is a Halloween airbrush sticker sheet, and I'm pretty positive this was included in the September charm box, but I just decided to pick up another sheet because I thought these were really cute, and it's always fun to have some extra stickers, especially the ones that you really love. We have some more Halloween airbrush stickers. I do not have these ones yet, and I thought these were fun because we have some ghosts, like the outline of the ghosts, and then also the actual ghost and just super cute. Love playing around with these airbrush stickers too. These next stickers are very fun because they glow in the dark. Um, a good variety on this sticker sheet too, which I love. There's some ghosts. Oh, that's even like Jack Skellington. Um, some bats, boo, some drips. Very, very fun. And these glow in the dark. It's always fun to have glow in the dark nails for Halloween. The next sticker sheet, this is Disney themed. We have like some Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Very cute. And even the bats are like themed Mickey or Minnie. So adorable. The candy corn, the different pumpkins, the ghosts. This is a great little sticker sheet. And if you like Disney Mickey Minnie Mouse, this is a great one for you. And the last sticker sheet that I picked out, this is not Halloween themed. I just thought these were cool. I forget the trend like what these are actually called, but I know that people were using like the little gold beads and actually creating this. I didn't ever try that, but then I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, nail hack. We can use a sticker and then fill in the center of the sticker. Super quick and easy, my cup of tea. So I did go ahead and pick these up. And the last item that I have in here are some charm gels. I spoke too soon. I also have some charms. I didn't even know or remember picking these out. So we have these ones here. Let me go ahead and dump some of these out so we can take a look at them. So these are Halloween charms and there are some different colored ones. We have like a little broom, a witch hat, a ghost, a spider web, um, a little um, gravestone, and I think there's even more. Yeah, there's like a bat in here and maybe like little Frankensteins very fun. The other charms I have picked out are these two little pearl and rhinestone silver spiders. These are really cute and I think these would go really great on if you're doing a more so like girly inspired nail look. I love the pearl. Okay, now for the charm gels. So I did get a total of six colors. We have N03 Peach Ring, N09 Jawbreaker, and N06. I am not sure how to pronounce that. Um, it says Neon Glow Gel Polishes. So these are from that collection. And these are the colors that match their new um, chrome powders. So on their chrome powder listing, they have like the color that works best with the actual chrome powder. And that's why I decided to pick up these three colors. Looking at these three colors now, they're also giving like Halloween, like these are great colors for Halloween. But let's just take a look at these. I know they do come from an entire collection. Oh, these are so pretty. I might have to get the other colors from this collection. Just the perfect orange. This would be great for like Halloween, like I was saying. We have the blue. Oh, very pretty. That's like the perfect blue. And then finally, we have this green color here. Oh, that's very neon. That's a very neon green. So these gel polishes, if I'm remembering correctly, these three gel polishes correspond or like match, like they're a good base gel polish color 
for the new chrome powders that they just recently launched. So that's why I picked those up, just in case I want to have like a really nice base for the chrome. These will come in handy and I can use these for the perfect base color. And finally, Daily Charm also sent over their brand new t-shirt to me. So this does come in pink or black and there's also different sizes. And it is just a regular Hanes t-shirt so you can go off of that for your sizing and then they sent me the pink one in a size medium I have not tried this on yet it has been in the bag just because I wanted to show you all but I saw them all wearing it and it's the cutest tee ever it says life is not perfect but your nails can be and then down at the bottom here it also says daily charm and then we have some really cute things like the mushroom the cat some nails a rainbow, even a charm gel, H92 positive vibes. I love this t-shirt. It's so nice. I, I am a big fan of t-shirts and like t-shirts like this, like if you want to call this like a graphic tee. So this is really cute and I'm so happy they sent this over to me because I will definitely be rocking this Daily Charm shirt. And I highly recommend you guys pick one up too because it's just really nice to have. Um, just a t-shirt of your favorite brand or from a brand that you use their nail products and you can if you don't love pink you can also get the black which I may pick up the black too just because like I said I'm a t-shirt girly and it's always nice to have some graphic tees. I also love just the design that they went with with this t-shirt. So that is everything from today's Daily Charm haul. We got some stickers, we got some charms, even charm gels, a new cat eye magnet, which I am going to be so excited to use. And I want to jump in and use this magnet now. So let's go ahead and do some nails. So for my nails, I am going to be using the Daily Charm extension tips in the medium almond pre-colored black and white. I am just going to be using the black nail tips today because I'm gonna, like I said, we're using cat eye polish, the cat eye design that I'm doing. I want to have a black base. So we are gonna be just using these already pre-colored nail tips in my favorite shape, medium almond. I also think I remember seeing a comment of somebody asking if I could show the process of me applying my peel off base coat. So I am gonna go ahead and do that in today's video. Generally, I don't don't show me applying my peel off base coat because most people when they're doing their nails they're doing natural nail prep for the longevity and the longest wear so that's generally why I don't include it but I am going to include it in today's video the peel off base coat I use and it will allow me to pop the nails off as soon as I'm finished filming which is generally what I do I film my video like I do my nails filming the video I take my photos and then I may leave the nails on for like an hour or two possibly some days and then generally I will just pop them off and put them into my nail jar and save them. They then can be used as press-ons or wear, like I can wear them again but with this peel off base coat it is just a DIY peel off base coat but I also wanted to mention that if you guys want the nail prep um, a full step-by-step -step tutorial using the Daily Charm three-step system. I will go ahead and have that video linked up in the cards. So for the DIY peel off base coat, I do use cuticle oil and a top coat. For the top coat, I do have a specific top coat that I pair with like the cuticle oil because I'm going to apply the cuticle oil to my nails, rub that in, and then when I go in with a top coat, some cuticle oil may mix in with this top coat. So you don't want to use a top coat that you're using to like finish off your nail set because you may get some cuticle oil mixed in with it and it may not work as well as just the original top coat without having any cuticle oil mixed in. So this DIY peel off base coat works great. I'm not sure like how long you can wear the nails for with this peel off base coat. 
um, because like I said, I usually take mine off like right after filming. So I don't really know how long the nails would last. They are super easy to pop off, especially like gel extensions. They're super easy to just pop right off. So I don't think it would last like um, multiple days or anything, but I guess it all depends. So I just went in with my cuticle oil and I try to rub that in pretty good. And then I will just go in with a layer of top coat directly on top and then I will cure. And that's it. That's literally my DIY peel off base coat. Well, it's not my DIY peel off base coat. I have seen other people use this, um, but it's really that easy. And then you can take the nails off. And here are the nails after I have that DIY peel off base coat applied and cured. Like I said, it's that easy. Now I am gonna go in and size out my nail tips. Like I mentioned, we're using the pre-colored black ones because for my base, I want to have a black base. Here are the nails after I have them all sized out to apply them. I am going to be using the step number three from the three step system, the nail tip extension gel. I really love this product. And then I will also just be using my flash cure light to do my flash cures. I am just going to go ahead and let this process play out because I do explain it very frequently in a lot of my videos. And if you are watching the video where I show the step-by-step -step nail prep, that video I do really go in depth and talk about like everything you can think of when applying pre-colored or just gel extensions in general. So if you want a more in-depth tutorial, go ahead and check that video out. But I am just going to get all of these nail tips applied. And then of course, I will also do my full cure in my large nail lamp for a full 60 seconds. So here are how the nails are looking. They look great. I love these nails. 
I love the medium almond and then also having the pre-coloring black. It's just so nice, especially for when you're doing cat eye nail looks. So like I mentioned, I of course need to try this ma new magnet out in today's video. I just think it is so cool. I am going to go ahead and pop up some different videos from the Daily Charm Instagram that I really loved and I would love to try those like Halloween nail looks. But because this is my last nail set, I'm not going to be able to try every single one of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop them up so you guys can see them if you haven't already. Daily Charm is great for nail inspiration. They do like show how to use their products and different like really fun cute nail sets that you can create using their products. So this pen for example they did do some really fun Halloween nail looks. I'm sure they're also going to have a lot of um, like holiday inspired nail looks using this magnet. Even on the website there's a picture of some different like like looks that you can create. I saw them do a heart using this magnet, which will come in handy um, probably towards Valentine's Day when everybody's doing that paperclip heart cat eye nail trend again. Um, if you can't get it with the paperclip, maybe you can get it with this like nail um, magnet pen or whatever they're calling this. So that will be fun. Um, I'm definitely going to play around with this and try different nail looks and see. Um, also just getting some inspiration from Daily Charm, seeing what else they create with it. I'm sure it will also be fun for the holiday nail looks and I will use it more once we get to those nails. But for the Halloween, I was actually inspired by Jen. So I really loved the swirl design um, that Daily Charm did. I wanted to try doing that because I just thought that was so cool and I was like wow a cat eye magnet like how can you do that that is so awesome I was just blown away with that so seeing that I was like oh my goodness that's definitely going viral this magnet is going viral that is just so cool so then I saw Jen she did a Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington themed nail set using this magnet along with two other magnets. So we have this brand new magnet from Daily Charm. We also have their like viral cylinder magnet. Um, this one is great. And then we also have like their little like flower and line magnet. This was included in I think like the spring charm box or something like that. But we do have these three magnets. I will be using this end of this magnet, like the flower magnet here, the cylinder magnet, and then also this brand new magnet. So I'm going to be taking my inspiration from Jen's nail set. She did a beautiful job. She is great at cat eye. And I am going to be doing that Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington th themed nail set because number one, I thought it was super cool that she incorporated this magnet to like do the lines. And then also this magnet with like um, making the cat eye go to the center. I did that last year with like the viral pumpkins. Uh, and then also with this magnet in that nail set, she had like that swirl, which that's what I really wanted to do. So we will be using these three magnets today. You can purchase all three of these magnets from the Daily Charm website. So if you want to create this look, these will be the three magnets that I'm using. Only these three magnets will be used to create today's cat eye nail look. I also will be using a cat eye gel polish from Daily Charm. I feel like this is super important. If you're struggling with cat eyes and you're using just a basic Amazon nail polish or gel polish, um, I'm not saying that you can't use just a cheaper cat eye polish and get it to work. Um, I'm just saying if you're struggling with the cat eye effect and you're using um, a cheaper alternative, maybe you might want to invest in a um, better high quality cat eye gel polish because cat eye gel polishes, they can be finicky and if it doesn't have enough pigment or 
just like whatever is in these polishes to make them move around and then have the sparkle and everything like that. If you're using a cheaper version and it's not working for you, you may want to invest in something just a little bit better quality. Now I'm not saying there's not cheaper um, cat eye polishes out there that do not or that do work. My personal preference, I prefer the Daily Charm cat eye polishes. I always have the best results with those. I feel like they look the best. And also just like the pigment in these cat eye polishes from Daily Charm. I just personally think they're like a really good formula and really well made. So for the cat eye polish, I'm going to be just using one cat eye polish for this entire nail look and it's going to be C09 Moon Cat. This one is from their like silk cat eye collection. They also do have another silver cat eye that has um, the larger pigments and the larger like sparkles in it. You can also use that one. It is pretty similar to this Moon Cat here. Um, but this is like more of like a silky cat eye. So this will be the cat eye that I'm using and then these will be the three magnets that I'm using. I am going to be trying to trying my best to give like tips and tricks as we go through this and showing um, the process as best as I can. But first things first, I want to add a little extra layer or an extra aspect to my nail set. So I will be recreating Jen's nail set, like I mentioned, of Jack Skellington, but I wanna add a little extra pizzazz, a little extra sparkle to mine. So I'm gonna use H63 Abracadabra. This is a twinkle flash gel polish, and it is perfect for underneath cat eyes and over top of like a black base. So I want to add this to all of the nails. I already have the perfect black base, but adding this polish, it's just going to add a little extra sparkle. So I'm going to go in with one coat of this to all of the nails. And like I said, this is just going to elevate the regular black, basic black base and just add a little bit of sparkle to it. And then underneath the cat eye, it's just going to make everything pop. So one coat of this to all of the nails and then I will cure. So now that I have that glitter base applied to the nails, here are how they are looking. Very beautiful. And like I said, this is just an extra added bonus. If you do not have this gel, first off, I would recommend picking it up because it is really nice when you're doing cat eye nail looks and you are doing a black base. Just an extra layer of this like twinkle flash gel. I just think it really elevates the nail set, but it is not necessary at all. You're still going to get a very nice cat eye nail look even without using this gel and just having like a regular black gel polish base. So now I'm ready to jump in and do the cat eye designs. Of course I am going to be working one nail at a time. Something super super important when you are using cat eye gel polishes. I am trying my best to like give some tips and tricks while doing this cat eye nail look because I know a lot of people do struggle with cat eye designs like that paper clip heart nail trend if you guys know what I'm talking about. A lot of people tried that. A lot of people struggled. A lot of people got it right away too. I was one of the ones that struggled but I kept trying and trying and trying again and I finally got it which was really nice. I do have a video up on my channel showing that nail trend in case you guys are curious. 
But with cat eyes, they can be difficult, but at the same time, once you get the hang of it and once you get like rolling with it, it is going to be easy for you and you're going to be able to do it time and time again. So with today, um, some of these may be a little tricky for you, but just keep trying and I feel like you will be able to get it to work, especially when you are following a tutorial and knowing the exact products that someone is using. So... I do have my black base, like I was going to mention, a very important thing when working with cat eye, I recommend when doing a design, working one nail at a time, especially if you're doing something like an intricate design, because once you get that cat eye effect on the nail, like exactly how you want it, you want to go ahead and cure that nail. That way the cat eye does not move around. It stays in the exact position. You cure it and then it's stuck and it's not moving. If you do not cure immediately, one once you have it exactly how you like it, it can shift, it can kind of spread, and it may make the design a little bit spaced out or a little bit different than how you had it when you like perfectly had it, how it was just so perfect. So you wanna make sure that you are curing and that's why we are going to work one nail at a time. I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of knowledge and things that I've learned along the way when doing and using cat eyes. Just everything you need to know about magnetic gel polish or cat eye gel polish. So I think I want to try this viral magnet first. Um, this is just so cool and this one we're going to do like a swirl design almost like the hill for like a Jack Skellington or Nightmare Before Christmas nail set. So that's what we're gonna do. And I feel like this is actually going to be the hardest um, cat eye design in today's nail set. So this one, it's going to be on my ring finger and also on my thumbnail. So let's go ahead and do it. We'll go ahead and start doing it on the thumbnail first. So like I said, we have that C09 Moon Cat Gel Polish. And I'm going to apply this to the nail. I'm just going to go in with a nice even coat of this if you have any bubbles or any gaps in your polish, you wanna make sure that it's a really nice even coat because when you go in with your magnet, any imperfections in like your gel polish, um, it's going to show up and it's going to almost like ruin the actual cat eye effect and cat eye design. So you wanna make sure you are applying your gel polish very smoothly and a nice even coat throughout the entire nail. Now that I have my gel polish applied, I'm just gonna clean anything up if necessary, like any gel polish on my skin. And then of course, this is not cured yet. We're gonna go in with the magnet and I'm a little bit worried about this, but we're just gonna hope for the best and we're gonna do a quick swirl design. So let's go for it. Okay, so that did not turn out. That was my first attempt. It did not turn out, but that is okay because I am just not going to cure. I'm going to wipe off most of the gel from my gel polish brush, and I'm just going to go back in, and you can see it's just making the polish exactly how it was before I first started. That's what's super nice about cat eye. You can try again and again. There's really no time limit with it other than the fact once you get that design, you want to cure. So let's try this again. Maybe I was a little too fast with it. I don't really know. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. So let's try again. Oh my goodness, I still don't really like it. I kind of got like a circle. I wonder if I should bring out the polish first. Sometimes that's easier for me. Other times it's not. Like bringing out the um, sparkle in the cat eye polish. I am going to go ahead and give that a try and see if that works with this design. Like if it works better. So I'm going to take the cylinder magnet and just go on the sides of the nail and bring out that polish just like that. And now we're gonna go back in with this and try again. 
So that's almost exactly how I want it. Like, okay, why is this my camera not focusing? It's almost exactly how I want it, but I feel like it just doesn't show exactly that like swirl design. So we're gonna go in again. I told you all this is probably gonna be the hardest one just because this is my first time playing around with a magnet like this. I've never used any magnets for cat eye polishes in this shape. So I am gonna go ahead and bring out the sparkle again in the gel just because I feel like that did help. And then again, coming with this one. So I still feel like I don't really like that. It's almost perfect. I, I'm wondering what I'm doing wrong. Maybe if, am I moving the magnet too fast and not holding it in the spot for long enough? It is, I am definitely getting a better result now that I'm going in with the cylinder magnet first and bringing out the sparkle in the gel. So I would recommend doing that first. I wonder if I should start, um, I have a little imperfection that I'm going to correct. You can see that imperfection right there. Like I mentioned, you wanna make sure you don't have any imperfections before starting your cat eye design because that will show in your final look. So I'm wondering if I should start maybe in the center and go out instead of the top of the circle. Okay, that did not work. Oh my goodness, I'm struggling with this just like I did the heart nail trend. I am not going to give up though. I am going to keep trying because I know it's just something like technique. Oh my goodness, I did not mean to do that. It's just technique and figuring out how to properly do it. So this video might get a little long and I do apologize. I said I wasn't gonna talk much but I forgot, I kind of wanted to help explain everything that I'm doing. Okay, let's hope for the best here. Okay, that actually is not terrible. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cure that because I'm actually kind of liking that. So here is how that nail looks. Could it be better? Yes. But to me, after all those several attempts that I had just tried, I feel this is a pretty good attempt and I'm liking that. I am going to also probably try multiple tries on this nail too, um, but I really like that. So what I did was I used my cylinder magnet, I brought out the sparkle in the nail first, and then I took this and started like at the top here. I don't touch the magnet to the nail, of course. I hover it above and then I did like a circle, like almost like you're drawing, like a, like a, like a circle, swiggle, swirl, a swirl, that's what I'm looking for, a swirl design. I started at like the top section and created that circle from the outer circle to the inner and I just hovered that above the nail and did it. I feel like you do need to work pretty quick. Um, I feel like hovering too long it's going to not get the correct design. So I'm also going to do this same design on my ring finger here. So let's hope for the best and maybe we'll even get a better swirl on this nail. I don't know. I have a feeling we're going to need some several attempts, but it's okay. I'm having fun playing around with this magnet and for the other designs in today's nail look, it actually, I will be using just the cylinder and the flower magnet. So I think it's fine that we're playing around with this magnet here since it is new. So again, going to take that cylinder magnet, pull out all of the sparkles like that. 
And then I'm going to take this magnet and we're going to draw. I'm going to lay my nail flat like that. Okay, that was terrible. I feel like the problem that I could be running into is that I'm not holding the magnet close enough to the nail. But something that I struggle with is that I get so scared that I'm going to touch the magnet to the polish. So that is something I always worry about. Okay, I brought out the sparkle. I'm going to go for it again. Okay, I think that's a little bit better, but I don't love it. I'm gonna try again. And I'm actually just gonna continue doing this until I get it how I want it. I may leave all these clips in, depending how many times I try this, but just gonna go through with that same process. No curing until I get the one that I love. So here is how that nail turned out. I cannot even count the number of attempts that I tried to get that. And still, it's not even perfect, but I like it. I think it looks nice. And with practice with this magnet, I can definitely improve. So let's go in and do the next one, which is going to be the actual like Jack Skellington face. So no. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this one next. This one does include some nail art. So first things first, we're just gonna take our polish and this is almost like a reversed black hole cat eye design. I don't know if it's even called black hole, but I like to call it that where you um, kind of put your magnet in the center of the nail and then you have your cat eye like on the outside or like the outer um, proportion of the nail. So here is the nail. Now I'm going to take the cylinder magnet. For this design, we only will be using the cylinder. I'm going to start with bringing out the polish. And this can get a little tricky, but at the same time, I feel like I will be able to get this result a lot faster. And then all I'm going to do is swirl this around the outer edge of the nail, trying to bring all of the sparkle from the polish to the center, creating a circle. So I'm gonna go on the outer rim here. And I also like to push it like that. I feel like to me, that's really helpful to help get this design. And we're just bringing that polish up. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I like that. Gonna bring it up a little bit more on the top side there. That's actually really good. Just gonna play with it a little bit more. You can like swipe on the sides. That looks great and I got that first try. I'm gonna go ahead and cure. So here is how that nail turned out. I am now gonna go in with some black gel polish, a dotting tool and a liner brush just to create the like facial features for Jack Skellington. I think that nail turned out great. I'm loving it. And we're pulling like Jack Skellington into the nail set. So now for the last cat eye design, which I will be doing on my index and my pinky, it's going to be almost like a striped nail, but instead of drawing out the stripes, I am going to use this little like striper magnet. So hopefully this is easy. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. I'm going to apply my polish, the cat eye polish to the nail. Another thing 
that I just thought about. If you want to add color to the nail set, you can always go in with a tinted glass gel and apply that over top of this Moon Cat gel polish and you can choose any color and it will change the color of the cat eye which would be an added cool effect. I think for me I am just going to leave it um, silver, this silver color. So now that I brought out the sparkle or the glitter with this magnet here, I'm going to take this line magnet and we'll just start at the top and go down the nail. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I touched the nail. Bummer. That was actually looking so good, but then I touched the nail. I feel like that happens to a lot of us when we're doing like a cat eye design and it's turning out good and then we accidentally bump the nail with the magnet. Like, does that ever happen to you guys? Because I feel like that happens to me a lot. But this is really easy, but I feel like you have to work really quick. So starting at the top, going down the nail on both sides, maybe in the middle a little. Okay, gonna cure. Wow, that turned out really cool. It isn't perfect, but I feel like mostly when you're doing like cat eye designs, Whatever you're doing, it isn't going to be like absolutely perfect just because you are using a gel polish and a magnet to create a design. So it's a little bit different than like using a liner brush and gel polish to create your design. But this is super cool. Like what other designs could we do with this? Because, oh my goodness, I touched the nail again. What other designs could we do with these lines? Like, could we do like a candy cane nail? Oh my goodness, that would be so cool to do like a candy cane. I love how these nails turned out. I can't believe I'm finally done. This was definitely a hard nail set even though I wouldn't say it was like extremely hard because I feel like a beginner can still do this. The reason I say it was hard was just because it did take multiple attempts for some of the nails. Well, I think all of the nails except for this Jack Skellington nail here, it did take multiple attempts, but it's okay because I like the outcome and generally when you are doing a cat eye nail set, it will take a couple different tries just for you to be able to perfect the design. But now I am finished with the nail set. So I am gonna go in with my Diamond Shine top coat, apply a layer of this to all of the nails, and then I will cure. And honestly, I'm just gonna give myself a pat on the back because I did not give up. I kept going and I am just super happy with how these turned out. Here are the nails after I have my top coat applied and cured. I'm now going to go in with my cuticle oil, apply that to my cuticles, rub that in to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of these nails. Like I said, I just want to give myself a pat on the back because even though this was a little tricky and it took multiple tries. I am very happy with the result. The swirl nails didn't turn out the greatest, but I feel like I can still see the swirl. It's there still, so I'm still very happy. I definitely recommend um, picking up this cat eye nail pen and the other just the other magnets, the cylinder one, definitely for sure. And then if you want to play around with like doing designs, I recommend picking up these ones. A Daily Charm also has other cat eye magnets. They also have a bunch of different cat eye gel polishes to choose from as well. Um, I'm wondering if maybe if I would have used a more like sparkly cat eye gel polish instead of like a finer silkier one if maybe the designs would have been a little bit easier to do I don't know let me know if you guys do want to see like more cat eye videos though I know I do cat eye 
like nail sets but if you guys really want to see like the design type videos like this um, like kind of like the whole process like how I did today just giving my best tips and tricks on how to do it um, this was so much fun I can't wait to try out the holiday nails I'm wondering if like lines like this would look good with like a candy cane style somehow trying that out all of the products that I did use today will be linked down below in the description box in case you guys do want to pick anything up for yourselves. But here is just the finishing look of these nails. I love them. I think they are so much fun. And I feel like I always love doing a Nightmare Before Christmas nail set for Halloween. So this is a great way to end off my Halloween nail sets. Super cute and I'm so excited to jump in to the holiday nails. Daily Charm is actually launching a new cat eye gel polish collection November 1st. I'm hoping to use that collection this week and also get a video out on those new gels on November 1st so you guys can pick up that collection if you do love it before it does sell out. I'm very excited to try and see all the colors in that collection myself but I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Like I said this is the last Halloween nail set of the 2024 season. I cannot believe that it's already the end of October. This video may go up October 31st. I'm not 100% sure yet, but if I haven't and if like I'm just going to say happy Halloween, even though it may be a day early. I'm not sure when this video is going out yet, but happy Halloween. I hope you all have a safe holiday. If you are going trick-or-treating, let me know down below in the comment section what you are being or what your children are being. That is always a fun time, and I hope you all are safe and have a fun and healthy time. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.